Hello, it's Adil Fazal, market analyst at CFTs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for trading session the uh, Thursday, 8th of February 2016. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers. You can download the app at the uh, www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download it at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, look to look at the market starts then. European markets certainly down today, FTSE under pressure on the back of BOE, uh, indicating higher rates, and therefore that's obviously uh, bearish for the FTSE. German DAX uh, certainly down quite a whopping almost a percentage point there, certainly under pressure again, uh, given the fact that it did rally yesterday. European markets certainly under pressure as well, the French CAC as well. Okay, in terms of uh, earnings yesterday, certainly seems to have uh, sent the uh, US equities into uh, quite a uh, plunge. Okay, let's see exactly what's going on today then in terms of uh, markets, Asian markets overnight. Uh, you are the Hang Seng Nikkei higher, but the uh, Shanghai Composite certainly closing down 1.4%. So that certainly is risk off. In terms of fundamentals, we have um, in terms of economic data today. Let's just uh, look at the uh, stats for today. You have Chinese uh, data out overnight. Exports certainly better than expected. Imports certainly uh, stronger than ex uh, expected as well in terms of China. Trade balance came in slightly weaker, but the import number certainly was stronger. In terms of um, the uh, German data, you are German current account, exports, trade balance, uh, certainly coming in slightly better than expected, exports better month to month better, imports month to month better as well, industrial outputs certainly stronger than expected as well, European data, uh, in terms of European data, you've had the uh, uh, overall really strong, uh, let's just say that for, from the map perspective, in terms of uh, the uh, Bank of England, certainly indicating higher hawkish stance and therefore that's bearish FTSE. And now we're looking forward to the governor speaking in terms of uh, the Fed. So far, I think we've had quite a few of them speak already. Let's just quickly go through the, uh, um, I think it's probably best if I skip that. Fed cash quality, why cool? Economic down before wages and inflation rise. Too soon to tell if US tax cuts will boost will boost wages and hiring. Thinks House has votes to pass budget deal, etc., etc. So certainly a mixed picture there, let's just say that. Okay. In terms of technical picture for the European markets, let's just go through that with you. Let's start off with the German DAX. So German DAX certainly under pressure here in the daily chart, certainly coming under weakness. 60-minute uh, chart certainly flushing. As you can see, we closed that gap, and now we're just basically trading sideways. 10-minute chart on the German DAX certainly under pressure. It looks like it wants to close that gap below, and obviously test support down here as well. So let's see how that plays out. In terms of your FTSE 100, or should we say move on to the CAC now? CAC inside bar on the daily chart, 60-minute chart. Again, uh, still failing to close that gap, trading sideways. Let's see how this market unfolds. 10 minute chart at the moment is still indicating weakness. Uh, any potential um, move down to here will certainly encounter some support. And then obviously, you've got a gap filled up 5160 as well. So, 5200 and 5160 will be the support zones. You also have support around here at 5190. In terms of the FTSE 100, FTSE 100 is certainly very bearish from my perspective. As long as it remains below uh, a previous resistance equals support, previous support equals resistance at 7290 and uh, upper body uh, as well, 7335. FTSE remains bearish. Now, the fundamentals at the moment certainly indicate a lower FTSE. Uh, you are looking to potentially retest that support at 7140 from my perspective. Lower lows, lower highs range supreme. 10 minute chart on the FTSE 100 again. You've sold off since yesterday's pivot high at 7310. We've bounced at 71200 and we've certainly had a small bounce, but that's certainly is short lived from my perspective. Certainly looking to potentially move back lower again. In terms of the Euro stocks, let's look at the Euro stocks. Now, this is one of the indexes I am starting to become bullish on. Certainly consolidating inside bar. Let's see if that continues. 60 minute chart certainly has pushed lower to that 3400 level. Let's see if we can start to bounce from there. 10 minute chart certainly does remain under pressure now. In terms of the buying opportunity, really you are seeing it buy up to that 3400. You do have gap fill at 3395, so watch out there. That's another area to watch out for. Okay, so I think that's a good summation in terms of European uh, uh, technicals and, uh, and fundamentals as well. Uh, again, all eyes on Fed speakers, so let's see what the outcome there is. Economic data has come out in terms of jobless claims coming in slightly better than expected. Everything really looks, seems to be dollar positive, although Mr. Harker and uh, Mr. Kashkari certainly may change that uh, as tide. Chinese data is certainly helping to a large extent, so bear that in mind. Export imports certainly better than expected. Okay, and uh, let's see how the market unfolds later on in the afternoon. On that note, please be sure to visit CFDs to, to, for your bonus and certainly take advantage of that. And be sure to visit uh, Trade Singler uh, for uh, for market leader in terms of signals and market updates. On that note, goodbye, folks.